Okay, this is uh, Jason WW. Just going to do another video showing some uh, accessories and more details about these KSGR kits. These uh, units, they come with a, a wand that is very similar to the Hako FX 951. It's very similar. And um, if you buy one of these units, you're probably going to want a stand. Stands are hard to get. What I've got here is a, an actual Hako 951 stand, or Hako. This here is an imitation unit. This is the uh, KSGER unit. But basically, it does fit perfectly. This is a nice unit. It's a little on the expensive side. It's got the switch, which you don't really need. I'm not using it. In fact, I rigged up the little counterweight system to, uh, to be solid so it doesn't pivot anymore because I don't need that feature. It was a little annoying having it pivot. But anyway, this is just a little cheap imitation $6 uh, brass clean, tip cleaning thing. Inexpensive. Same here. This is a different brand, slightly different color. They both seem to work fine, though. And even though these stands are about $65, um, this is a Hako little tip holder. It's very nice, but it's also like $20. It's aluminum. I mean, it's nicely made, but it's pricey for what it is. Um, let's see. This is the stand I want to, uh, to kind of focus on. I paid around $16 for this. This is one of these imitation Hako stands. And I paid about $6 for this uh, type of uh, tip cleaner. Works just fine. Now the thing about these, you can find these um, on a lot of Chinese sites for around $16 to maybe $20. I wasn't sure if this was going to actually work with these, you know, with this diameter of a uh, wand. But they actually do work really well. The uh, diameters here are virtually the same. And you don't really need a tip holder. You can just, you can put a, a bunch of your tips right here, have them handy. You know, the, the hot end. You can typically pick them up about here, even when they're fully heated up. And uh, it, it'll, it'll be warm here, but you can still hold it. You don't want to touch it any higher. You, know, you can just drop them right in there. But uh, you can see the little lip right there that holds the, the wand, keeps it from going through. You've got rubber. Let's see if I can get the focus. Maybe not. I mean, the rubber comes up to here and you've got plastic this diameter tends to work really well with this unit you just drop it right in super easy to use and for 16 bucks it's hard to beat now of course the, uh, the wire frame did need to be bent a little bit when these units come in they're typically sticking out over here, so I had to bend this end. That way I can get my uh, tip cleaner container in there. I just wedge the little piece of paper or whatever to, to hold it steady. It doesn't have the, the fancy little tab that's adjustable to hold it into place like the genuine Hako unit. But you don't need it. You can just wedge something in there. It will uh, hold it nice and firm. And uh, the pictures of this unit actually showed this to be straight. 
the wire comes out and goes straight across. So there was no, no adjustability for your angle. But I was pleasantly surprised when it actually arrived. You can see they put a little curve in there. So you loosen the two screws. You can adjust your angle to wherever you like it. You know, whatever your personal preference is. That's a really nice feature. I'm glad they added that. And uh, yeah, these, these are pretty decent. These are uh, cast aluminum uh, bases. I believe they're cast. I'm not positive. It doesn't look machined, so I believe it is cast aluminum. But yeah, that's really all you need. It fits perfect. Uh, some of these units have a wire that goes across the front and people talk about how annoying it is. You actually don't even need this wire. You can literally take it off. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't need that because it, uh, it actually goes into this groove quite a bit. I mean, even if you don't stab it perfect, it still holds it. So uh, I definitely recommend these little stands. As cheap as they are, you don't need to spend $65. In fact, I didn't even spend $65 for my genuine unit. Actually, uh, this is a used unit. Probably it's got a little scratch there. I mean, it's practically new. But I got it super cheap price. I got this whole uh, whole unit plus the uh, tip holder for uh, I think forty dollars shipped because they're used units and they were also mislabeled on eBay. So I found uh, nobody else bid on it. Kind of got lucky. But uh, I wanted to try this out. This works really great. Let's see what else. I um, wanted to talk about two differences in these wands. Now this darker color wand is a little more textured. This is what came with my original soldering unit, the 2.1S. And this is a newer wand that came with um, my battery powered unit. There's big differences. Even though these look identical, there's a lot of big differences. Like when I got this wand, everything works perfect straight from the factory. The tips slide in and out with ease. You know, no problems at all. Like it a lot. This one, which is lightly colored, it's also a little smoother. Now this did have some problems, not with the motion sensor, that worked fine, but this had a lot of, um, had a lot of problems getting the tips to slide in. And I had to do quite a few modifications to get this to, uh, to operate at the level I wanted it to. I'll uh, go through a few things that I did. Nothing complicated, you just need a drill. Okay. Your switch assembly down there. Now luckily all these switch assemblies, which is the unit down here, on both of these wands work really well. They're, they're nice, good contacts. The motion sensor works. So no issue on this end. Where I did have a problem, with the wands fitting into and pulling them out because they were like really stiff. Basically I drilled this out just a tiny bit. I found a drill bit that was just a tiny bit larger. Drilled that out but I didn't go very far. There's a uh, when these tips slide in this notch here goes just below and stops. And there is a, a second 
ridge on this uh, tip. There's two, two ridges. This ridge gets a little point in here. I didn't want to drill through that because I didn't want it going in too far. So I just drilled lightly down about that deep and that fixed the first part. Second is this little spacer was causing me problems. When this was screwed together, the alignment was a little off. This part was, um, I don't know, a little, little crooked compared to this part. So the, the alignment was a little bit off like this. Just a little bit. It made it really hard. This spacer, I basically drilled this out one whole size. Drilled that out quite a bit. Filed a little on this edge. Basically made this quite a bit bigger so it, it, you're not getting any drag. In fact, there's, there's no drag at all. It's just nice and easy. All the resistance that you feel when you slide this in is coming from the uh, three contacts in here. So it took me a while to figure all this out and get this uh, handpiece or wand, whatever you want to call it, to be acceptable so that, see I think the, uh, it's giving me problems right now. One thing I forgot to do, this little spacer here has a groove that needs to line up. There's a, a raised section. Yeah, I think I've got it lined up. See, it's still giving me problems to this day, but I had it working nice earlier. Okay, it's a little, little stiff, but no big deal. I'll probably have to keep t tweaking it. It's strange because this one is fine. The tips slide in and out, no problems. But this one gives me a little bit of an issue. I mostly have it worked out. I mean, it actually feels pretty decent. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I was going to show. All right, so these uh, little imitation units, I do recommend them. Just realize you're going to have to bend the uh, tabs in order to get this to fit in. I've seen some reviews where people complained they couldn't get their little uh, tip cleaning container like this in there because this was in the way. The problem is obvious. Just bend this back. I mean, it's, it's really not that big a deal. Just it's wire and uh, in shipping. These wire frames get a little, little twisted, a little mangled, a little crooked. So just straighten it out. Just put them in here. These just pop in. You see it just pops in on both sides. Just get it in there. Use a little force. Wiggle it. And you end up with a what is actually a really nice stand. And I would recommend some feet. This doesn't come with any pads on here. I'm going to be uh, outfitting my desk, my little soldering station here. I'm going to be outfitting this with a uh, silicone pad from the pivot point on back. So all of these are going to be like really locked into place. I can, I can poke my tips in there, not have to worry about them moving around. 
And then uh, the other pad I'm getting is from uh, this point forward. It's going to be uh, one of these ESD safe, um, like uh, assembly pads, two layer rubber with a dissip dissipative layer on top and the conductive layer on the bottom. I'm not a big freak about you know that kind of stuff. I usually don't work on uh, I usually don't touch integrated circuits too much but I'm gonna go ahead spend the money get one of those pads should be good for about uh, maybe 500 degrees Celsius you know the rubber ones you can drip solder on it it's not gonna have any problems you can touch it on there for a few seconds it's not really gonna burn it I'm not gonna mess with vinyl two layer rubber and uh, oh yeah I do have quite a few these are all different tips by the way I've got I think 14 different tips these don't come burned in make sure you uh, run them at low temperatures and then slightly higher temperatures till they're nice and stable I think you can kind of see the uh, see how they look once they're burned in they're a little bit brownish. They don't come that way from the factory. They're all shiny from the factory, so you have to burn them in yourself. Yeah, I think this uh, little stand's gonna work fine for my brother. I'm gonna keep the, uh, the genuine. It doesn't have any pads under it. Well, I think it actually does come with some faint little pads, but they're not very grippy at all. Anyway, that's enough for this video. Thanks.